Yo, what is happening, guys? On the Vlogs here today, we're back, and we're back for another on the Speed podcast. And as always, I am back with Shay. Hi. And uh, I love how it changes every single week. Sometimes you just be like, hello. And then sometimes you're like, hi! You, just, you can either be enthusiastic and you be dead as fuck. Exactly, just... that's my personality. Half dead, half enthused. Mm. You know, it's great. Is anything interesting in your week happened so far? I think the most uh... interesting thing in my week is I started streaming again over on Twitch, by the way. Which is linked below. So go check it out. Nice. <laughs> What a plug that was. <laughs> um, no, I have no idea. I bought... See, to be honest, I just started playing Marvel's Avengers, and that's all I've been doing this week. Except for that, I've been working, so... Oh, my dad bought a fucking camper van. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm I am sure that up. It's, it's looking cool. Also, my car is broken. What? So, what, what did you do? Literally... I didn't do anything. Yeah, sure. Sick. Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no. What did you do? Yo, yo. Yeah. You open a door, right? So, say, it, it started with a passenger side door, and now it's just my P- side of the door. Please tell me this one still has a handle. Yes, it still has. It's okay. not a shitty car. It still has a handle. Okay. <laughs> it still has its handle. I can, I can remember it. I can remember that. Like, uh, I blamed you, but it was really me that broke the handle up, yeah. But it was glass. That was fantastic. But though, uh... It's like a wee, it's like the door siding or something. It's on the inside. Yeah. It's like black tubing, like black rubber tube. So it is, it's all up the inside and it's just fucking coming off. So it is. So my dad had to stick, uh, honestly, to be honest, they look like fanny pod things or whatever, you know, them women shit. They look like fanny pod, whatever. So he just stuck them on, basically, uh, around the tube and then stuck it to the underside of the car door and now it's still falling off so now every time I have to get in my car and I close the door I have to grab it and then I just fucking yeet the door closed fair enough it's really annoying yeah it's fun no. so no not really <coughs> interesting so they they got the caravan so whenever they want to get rid of your asses they can fuck off yes yeah <laughs> it's a good exactly. idea no, uh, they, yeah, no, literally, aside Twitch, the only interesting thing is I've been watching the NBA playoffs. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be able to watch basketball again, but then it's going to end soon. And then it's going to be all back nice. to score one, because shit, because the NBA playoffs. Playoffs means you're, you're now amazing. fighting for the championship. Oh, fuck, okay, fair. Because there's right. a regular season, which is 82 games, but I think it was only 72 this season, because of Corona. And then the playoffs, and there's the first... Because what it does, to explain it real quick, is no way... So 16 teams make the playoffs, right? There's two conferences. There's the Western Conference, there's the Eastern Conference, there's 15 a conference, there's 30 teams. So 16 total teams make it, which means 8 East, 8 West, right? And do you know why, obviously, if you're a better team, you'll be, like, rank 1 rather than rank 8? So, like, Mm. yeah... So when it gets to the playoffs, they're decided like that. So the first ranked team will face the eighth ranked team, which isn't realistically fair because it's the best team facing the worst team in the playoffs, but it makes it the most entertaining. But uh, it's that, and then whoever wins goes on to the next round and faces the winner of the other teams. So it'll be like four different matches in the Eastern Conference, and you'll it'll mm-hmm. be the best of seven, so it's the first to win four games. And then you'll move on right. and you'll play. So now, I think it's the conference finals, and which means the first round's passed, second round's passed, the conference finals is now here. Is it the conference finals, actually? No, it's not. It's not. It's uh, the semi-finals, which is the second round, and then if you win this, you move on to a conference. If you win the conference, then you move on. So then that means the winner of the East and the winner of the West will battle for the championship in a seven-game series. No. Is this on every week, is it? What? It's on like every couple of days. It just depends because they're it's it's weird because they're all playing in Orlando. Because no way they all have like Los Angeles has its uh, arena in Los Angeles. Milwaukee will have it in Milwaukee. They're all playing in Orlando because they made this thing because they couldn't play basketball again with this whole coronavirus. So they made this thing called the NBA bubble. And what it is is, um, you go to Orlando and you stay in Orlando and all the games are played in Orlando. 
which means because you're not traveling, you're not as high risk of getting it, so you're able to play basketball. Some NBA players wasn't willing to go and stay in Orlando for the playoffs, so they're just not playing. But then you get LeBron. Um, I think he lived in Los Angeles. He's now moved to Orlando for this playoffs, and he's staying there. So every other player there, because they're all in the NBA bubble, none of them are traveling, so none of them are at high risk or have to isolate so they can play. So that that was the whole point. It, it was a smart idea, because then they go, if we keep all the players that are playing in the one place, nobody has to isolate, because nobody's traveling. So, that's yeah. literally what they thought of. It's a good idea. But, I've been watching that. Obviously, I'm cheering for the Lakers, because the Cavs have no fucking... <laughs> the Cavs, they, <laughs> they didn't even make the playoffs. Like, fuck me, they didn't even scratch the surface, because they're shit. So, <laughs> I'm cheering for the Lakers, because the Browns are... <laughs> but it's been, it's been really entertaining. But <clears throat> very, very entertaining. And then aside that, did you get what? Yeah. I was just gonna say, did you get uh, NBA? What is it? Two K twenty one. No, I got the demo. Oh, okay. I'm I'm not buying two K twenty one. Screw that. No, uh, I was checking because <laughs> I was because I was on the PlayStation Store because I was checking when uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War comes out, and then I was checking about the. Have you ever heard, um, fuck what do you call it, WWE, fuck what do you call it, <laughs> T-Mac's gonna kill me for this, because I can't remember it, <laughs> it's WWE okay, something, okay, and it's, it is a battle royale WWE game, oh, fuck, I can't remember the name battle of it, or... yes, Battlegrounds, it's that I meet yeah. T-Mac and Cameron all on TC, wanna get it, <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I was checking to see when Call of Duty comes out and when that comes out, and I saw NBA 2K21, and I'm not buying 2K21, because I got 2K... I usually buy it every two years, and the only reason I buy it every two years is because if I want to play with people, my friends have the new one, and second, it's, I can't make content on the old one, because nobody's interested. But I buy it every two years, mm. because it's the same shit every year. At least if I wait every two years, you know, two things are fixed and two things are broke. So, um... Yeah, I so, see him... Well, oh, sorry. I was just, I was gonna say it's the same with uh, the WWE 2K games because yeah, because they they're made by 2K every single year. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> they, they come out every single year, and you're expecting changes to be made, but because they make it so much, you you can only expect little changes. Whereas if they took actually like say I don't know four years off, so they took GTA say, type GTA years. Yeah, exactly. If they took then GTA type years, and everything would be better. If they took GTA type years to make that game as realistic as possible, I'd feel like The Rock is actually rock bottoming me from the TV. <laughs> exactly. But, uh. Oh, the first person fucking WWE game. Yeah. No, um. What was it? Yes, yeah, so no, I was checking about that. But no, 2K, NBA 2K. I've said it every single year. It's the same shit every year. The only difference is something that was fixed last year, they break, and something that was broke last year, they fix. That's literally it. When they fix something, they always break something that was fixed. And it pisses me off. That's why they'll never get a perfect game. Because every time... I feel like they do it on purpose by this fucking point. But, yeah, so I was searching for it. And then it came up NBA 2K21. I wasn't interested in buying it. But I was looking at the cover. Because I want the cover as a poster. Because it's Kobe. But it's a really... Do you know like oil pastels? It's like a purple and gold oil pastel pin and it's really cool i just don't want to buy the game but i want the poster of it because it's obviously kobe and uh it'll probably come out as a poster to be fair i know you can get the poster i think you get the poster if you buy the legendary edition but that's literally like 80 quid which i'm not buying because i'm not getting the normal game for 50 so fuck that but um i want the poster so i was checking that and then it said about an nba 2k21 demo and i thought to myself i'm like i'm not gonna get the new one but i might as well just try the demo out because i did i have been wanting to play 2k for the past while it's just hmm. NBA 2K20 is like 90 gigs. And we say I'm going to look on my PlayStation right now, right? And I'm going to tell you. Right? So it's 90 gigs, right? Yeah. I have 53 gigabytes total on my PlayStation, right? I have Warzone, which is 107 gigs. Fall Guys, which is only 8. GTA, which is 80. Uh, Sheriff Factory, which is 8. Siege, which is... 70 twitch which is just under a gigabyte then my capture gallery is 68.72 gigabytes because i have a bunch of footage i still need to edit 
on even the footage I've added and rendered is 39 gigabytes. That's how ahead I am on my GTA, um, on my gamer content. So, yeah. now, <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to delete to uh, reinstall 2K? See what I haven't reinstalled it? <laughs> because I'm not willing yeah. to reinstall, uninstall Warzone. But, um, because Warzone's new season's coming soon as well, so I'm not going to uninstall it. But I've been wanting to play it for ages. I'm just, I just don't have the storage for it. And that's why I was like, oh, NBA 2K21, because it's a demo, it was only 30 gigabytes. So mm -hmm. I, d I downloaded it, because I'm like, it's only 30 gigabytes. The only shit thing about it, which I thought was very stupid, was, uh, do you know the way whenever you download a demo, you can play as much as you want? Yeah. One thing I found very stupid about this, you were only allowed to play a total of five games, which I found very stupid. <clears throat> and then it ends? Yeah. Like, the, there's teams, there's the all-time Lakers, so you get Kobe, LeBron, Kareem and all in the all-time Lakers, you get the all-time Celtics, you get the Milwaukee Bucks, and you get the Clippers. But, so that's four teams to choose from. And rightfully so, the all-time Lakers, all-time Celtics, they're two of the greatest franchises ever. Then you get the, the LA Clippers, which is arguably one of the favourites for the championship this year. Then you get the Bucks, which has Giannis, which was last year's MVP. So the teams are good. They chose good teams. Yeah. But... You only get to play five games. I went to the Lakers every single game just because I wanted to abuse Kobe. Like, I literally mm -hmm. just went Kobe and just shot with Kobe every single possession. <laughs> it's weird because usually I abuse LeBron, but it's because Kobe passed away this year. Now I just want to use Kobe. It's it's made me... Because Kobe's my second favourite of all time. But now I just really want to just yeah. use Kobe now. But, um... So, I played five games and then I was wondering because it kept saying three games left, two games left and I checked today after I played my final game, it said zero games left, I tried to click on it and it doesn't take you anywhere so I literally said, right, I've literally played five games and I'm not allowed to play anymore so I just deleted it because I'm like, it's not like I can play anymore, all I can do now is go to the gym and shoot about so I like the demo, the demo was cool, although it's just the same shit, Like, but I like the teams to give you I like the demo the only thing, I, the shop meter is weird as hell. They change, you know the way you have to obviously time the shop? The shop meter, they change yeah. every single year, and somehow every single year they make it worse. It's it's so yes. confusing this year. It's so confusing, it's so hard to get green lights. But, um, yeah, no, it, it was a good demo, but they only latched played five games, which I found very stupid, because I would have played it more consistently. Yeah. I guess I they mean, probably yeah, didn't want to latch you... Yeah, I guess they probably didn't want to let you play a lot of games in case you just played the demo. But, I mean, it, if they stopped us playing the demo so we'd buy the game, that's not helping. Like, you think you going, oh, you, you can't have the demo, you have to play the actual game, you think that's going to persuade me? That just makes me not want to buy your game more because you're never about the fans, you're just about getting money off us. Like, you're, you don't care what we want, you just want our money. Like, it's all of it. You get some franchises that cur what the fans want. GTA 5, even though we all want GTA 6, they give us what we want. See, Rockstar, they give us what we want in GTA 5. They update that game constantly to keep us entertained. And you got to think about it. Because yeah. a lot of people go, oh, Rockstar only care about money. But all the DLCs that come to GTA are free. So, yeah, you have to pay for shark cards. But, you, no, say, yeah, if you want a shark card, you have to pay for it. But that's optional. But all the game in game content, you don't have to pay for it. It's free. And that shows Rockstar actually gives a shit about their fan base. Where yeah. 2K, they're like, oh, you want this? Give us your money. That's literally 2K. They're just like, no. Nah. It's like EA. EA's like, oh, yeah, by the way, see this see this new UFC game? You can play as Muhammad Ali for $49.99. <laughs> literally, that's what they do. EA promotes, because Muhammad Ali is in the fucking new UFC game, which I think is stupid as hell, because he's not a UFC fighter. But he's in it, and they promoted the shit out of him, and you have to pay for him, I'm pretty sure. And then there was another one, the one I had, I think it was UFC 1, Bruce Lee was in it, you had to pay for Bruce Lee. Guess what, never pay, never played as Bruce Lee, because I wasn't going to pay for it. <laughs> Bruce Lee's cool and all, I'm not paying for him though. <laughs> so, no, fuck that. Yeah, no, 2K just, it fixes something every year, it breaks something every year, and I, I assume it's the same with the WWE games, but I don't, they're not anywhere near as broke as NBA. There's just, NBA is the most broke game consistently that I've ever played. There's no way of fixing it, there's just none. <clears throat> so yes, speaking of NBA players, I just want to state this, because I thought this was cool. No LeBron James' uh, son, Bronny Jr., you don't need to know yeah. him like, but I'm telling you. So his uh, Bronny Jr., he joined FaZe Clan. Really? Yeah. 
I find that, I just find that very cool. <laughs> I find it very cool because I'm like, face cam probably don't care to be honest. But imagine just being like this gaming group on like social media and shit and that's what you are. And then you find out not only have you now signed LeBron James' son, that also means LeBron James knows who you are. Because clearly, Bronny Jr. had to talk to his dad about it. Yeah. And then, you know, so now LeBron James knows who Faze Clan is. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> but it even, it I don't know what he's actually doing for Faze Clan. I know that he was a massive fan of them and he reps their merch. I think he is actually, I don't feel like he's joined, joined. But I feel like he's joined that he'll play here and there. Because he even said on a, an Instagram post that he's obviously going to focus on his basketball career more. Because that's his dream to make it to NBA and all. But I think he's like he's actually joined FaZe Clan now. I just thought that was really fucking cool. Because I'm like, that's mad. You think FaZe Clan, you're like, oh, FaZe Clan, it's a really big thing on social media for gaming. And then you think LeBron James's son is now part of FaZe Clan. Like, that's just a mad like collab. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's just mad collab. You're like, arguably the greatest player of all time, son, is now on FaZe Clan, which started by just playing games on social media. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I was like. <laughs> I just found that really cool. I was like, no fucking way. And then we'll move on to the last thing before the break. Um, Bella Ford, have you heard of her OnlyFans? Yeah, apparently she, she got like a million dollars or something, or a billion so, or whatever, in like 24 hours. So I might explain it to you real quick. All the details. There's a lot of details. I'm going to explain them to you real quick. And I just want your opinion on So. I'll, make, I'll rip out her points. She made $2 million over a week by starting an OnlyFans. Right? $2 million over I think it's a week. Because she made it a million in the first 24 hours. I think she made $2 million over the weekend. Or a week. But I'm going to say a week. And she was bragging about mm-hmm. no getting. Uh, earning all this. And she was getting all this praise. But the thing was. Yeah. Obviously, you have to subscribe to her OnlyFans. And when you do, you're supposed to get pictures. Because that's what OnlyFans is. But, the thing is, when they all signed up, there was no pictures. She messaged all of them individually, right? I'm reading this, because this is where I... This is, like, the actual um, information. So, uh, she messaged a bunch of people that subscribed to her OnlyFans, promising to send them a picture of her in her birthday suit if they sent her $200, right? Hmm... No, I, I worked this drama, no Keem Star of Drama Alert, he worked this out for me, which yeah. I'm glad because I didn't want to do the math. If 5,000 people send her $200, that's $1 million. Jesus, so it's just a money making scheme? Right? But she never sent yeah. any of the pictures. And she started bragging about making that much money without sending a single uh, picture. So uh. she done that, and then she apologized, I think it was yesterday. It was a really shitty apology, no offence, Bill, but it's a really shitty apology. She apologised, but now OnlyFans has taken their limits, and now a bunch of OnlyFans models are pissed at Bella, and rightfully so, because I don't know how OnlyFans works, because I'm not a model, although I could be. No, I'm just... <laughs> and obviously, like, I don't fucking use it, so I don't know how it works, but I assume that it's like selling, because you're kind of selling pictures yourself, it's like selling a product, you can, sell... yeah, but... you can choose the amount you have to pay, I assume. So, apparently, mm-hmm. the amount that people have to pay to subscribe to, and obviously people can donate, I think, that that has been capped. So, say the highest was 50, it's now 25 or something, and I think they're not allowed to donate more than $100 now, which you could before. And instead of yeah. getting, I think OnlyFans models got paid every seven days, now they have to get paid every 30 days. Because now OnlyFans, oh, because God. of that whole Bill of Foreign scan, a lot of people aren't happy because they wasted their money. But um, mm. OnlyFans is bu- like bumping down on restrictions, and I don't think it's for on OnlyFans models because now they they can't charge as much um, for their pictures. They're not getting as much donations, and they have to wait longer for the paycheck. And I don't think it's for because a lot of people would be like, exactly. "Oh, well, don't do OnlyFans then." Look, if they want to do OnlyFans, they can do OnlyFans. It's up to fucking them. Simple as. And if, you, if you're if you going to sell pictures of yourself, revealing pictures, you have every right to charge as much as you want. If you think they're worth a grand, you charge a grand. Any, but nobody can tell you different because they're pictures of you. So realistically, you make the assumption of how much they're worth. So 
a lot of people are for and against. A lot of people are hating on Bella for and a lot of people are like, oh, well, you shouldn't be doing OnlyFans anyway. I view it as, well, if they want to do OnlyFans, they can do OnlyFans. Like, it's their choice. But I don't think it's fair at the fact they're punishing other OnlyFans models for it because, like, neither are paying for it. They have to wait longer for their paychecks and they're not making as much money. And, yeah. <laughs> But Bella Ford made this whole apology and she goes, M this is how stupid it was, right? Say, it's funny, I love Bella Ford and I've seen her in Logan Paul's vlogs. No, I, I remember her from Shake It Up. She's hilarious. I love her, right? But this is stupid as shit. She literally goes, my whole idea around this was to bring normalization to sex work and stuff to do with like sex and selling uh, pictures of yourself and all to make it more normal, right? And I'm like, fair enough. If you, if you want to make that normal, fair enough. But stop lying and saying that that's what your intention was. Stop it. I don't know. Her that, intention was to exploit money from low Yes, people. exactly. If you, if you wanted... Because she goes, oh, I was a mainstream face and I thought if I came into OnlyFans and done that, it would help people see that, oh, maybe like sell and picture yourself, like work to do with sex is normalised now. And I'm like, but you didn't do it like that. <laughs> because a mainstream face like you coming in is good if you actually you know, do the OnlyFans right, but you didn't. You scam people. Stop saying you didn't yeah. scam people. You scam people. <laughs> like you did. Exactly. So now OnlyFans models are hating on her. So what, what is your opinion of it? Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess the, we should have scam people. Well, what, it's pretty much you, just exactly what we were talking about. Well, do you think that other OnlyFans models should be punished for it? No, because they're normal people. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's still people who need to pay bills and they need to do all this shit and they can charge whatever the fuck they want. You yeah. Know what I mean? But the fact that she has came in here and, you know, she's a new or whatever to it, she came in here, she didn't sell the pictures and she just scammed people and now she's pretty much out of OnlyFans and she only came in to do that. Yeah. To then go out again and rack it for everybody else. Yeah. So she shouldn't have done that. You know, and then what do you think of is, what do you think of all the people going? Oh, it serves you right. You shouldn't be doing OnlyFans anyway. Because I've seen like yes, this is I have seen so many people. I read the comments and shit of uh, the Bella yeah. for an apology video because she didn't make a video, but uh, news channel reported on it. And I read the comments and the amount of people that goes, oh, well, you shouldn't be doing OnlyFans anyway. Well, I look at it this way: uh, <laughs> I... any kind of work is work. If you get paid for yeah. it, then it's work. Selling drugs, it's work. You know, it's, it's it's a, you that. shouldn't do it. <laughs> Not the only fans yeah, for drugs. Exactly. Don't do it. Don't sell yeah. them. Don't take them. Uh, but like it's <laughs> no exactly. But then it's like if if you're doing say you're doing like only fans or whatever, right? You know, people have their own opinion of what's immoral and what's moral. But it's the whole fact of everybody likes sex, right? Everybody yeah. likes it. So then people who are saying, "Oh, you shouldn't be doing this," you know. It's just, you're just not as adventurous as all these other people because you still like sex, you know what I mean? And it's the same fucking thing, you know? It's literally just selling pictures of yourself so mm. people can masturbate. So, what, what I also find funny... Like to do too. <laughs> what I also find funny is the people that were complaining, saying, oh, you shouldn't be doing on fans are I motherfucking guarantee you they're the same people that go onto your Instagram to look at those pictures. They're just pissed because now they have to pay for them. I guarantee you that's why they're mad because, like, we should be doing only fans. We should be getting these for free. I guarantee you that's why they're pissed because now they have to pay for them. But, like, I, I just view it. I'm like, look, if you're going to fucking do that, if you're going to reveal your fucking body, like, go you. Clearly, you have some fucking new world of confidence. Go you. But if you're going to do that, you have every right to choose how much they're worth. Some people take the piss. Some people go, oh, mine are worth a grand. And I'm like, but you're not a celebrity. So they're realistically not. But do, it's your choice what you want to charge for them. If people want to pay for them. If you have a good price, people want to pay for them. Go you. But it's like, I don't think it's fair. Because a lot of people are hating on them. And I'm kind of just like, look... You're hating on her for fucking doing, like, this OnlyFans and shit. I'm like, you work a nine-to-five job, right? What are you doing? Something. Like, I know you'd be like, oh, but a nine-to-five job is more normal. Well, not really, because you can't define normal. The difference is, yeah. 
it's not the fact that people selling like, pictures themselves isn't normal. It's just the fact they have some sort of confidence that we clearly don't have because I wouldn't fucking do it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't understand it that. because I wouldn't do it. But I don't understand it because I wouldn't do it. But I'm not going to say, oh, it's not normal. Are you like, do you think I, me of all people, shit me? I'm going to sit here and say that someone's not normal. <laughs> I think we've established I don't have that right anymore. <laughs> You're, you're I think fun. neither me or you have that right to call someone weird anymore. Nah. Like, we don't. <laughs> nah. No, we're both weird as shit. Exactly. Oh, uh, fuck, I was going to say something. Right, yeah, it was the, um, you said about the 9 to 5 jobs and being normal. And it's kind of like, I view it as that, yeah. But it's it's also, it's not, I, don't, I wouldn't say it was normal. I would say it's more society's view on what's acceptable and what isn't yeah. based on morals. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's immoral, I would say, you know, it's society views it as immoral to speak openly about sex and all this stuff. Say you started a conversation about sex, you know, just in public with someone, you know, that would go, why are you talking about that? Or like yeah. girls talk about their periods and shit. You would just be like, eh, gross, you know. But it's like, that's all a part of the body and that's all a part of sex and that's all just as normal as anything else, you know? So I wouldn't say that it's normal to have a 95 job. I'd say it's more yeah, I give societally it or socially acceptable, you know? But then it's it's like, it isn't because that's just what society views it as, you know? And then you're just yeah. looking to what society views it as rather than what you view it as. Whereas I view it as it's normal to do both, you know what I mean? Or at least you're getting recognised for what you're doing. Have you ever heard Shay talk so seriously and fucking, like, perfectly when he's talking about sex? No! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, God. But, yeah, no, that's a whole Bella Ford thing. She, she like scams people. Sex. Yeah, no, but Bella yeah, Ford scams people, and now people are paying for it. People are mad, people are happy. Yeah, <laughs> like everything, there's people on each side getting at each other's throats over stupid shit. So, but uh, we're gonna take a break yeah. here. We're gonna go. Then Shay has a topic he wants to talk about, and then after that, we will do the questions and answers to finish it off. But we're gonna take a break now. Me and Shay are both gonna get our lunch. Then we'll come back, and then we will continue on with the podcast. Mm-hmm. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. Back. Just take it away, Shay. <laughs> okay, my name is Shay. Nice to meet you. Um. Yeah, no, I just wanted to talk about uh, a video that I saw recently. It was very offensive. No, it was, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh. it's, it's literally, it's just about watching, uh... It was about wearing masks uh, with, you know, COVID and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And it's just how to treat people. Because this guy got, basically tried to get arrested. He, he didn't try to get arrested. The policeman tried to arrest him for not wearing a mask. And mm-hmm. all this, and he was just treating him like the biggest pile of shit ever because he just wasn't wearing a mask. You know, you never know. He could have had like an underlying health condition as to why he did he wasn't wearing the mask. You know, um, I have I have a whole opinion on this, so I'm gonna let you state yours now. About it off. That's fine. Uh, but then I just feel that, in my opinion, the police officer did worse because he invaded the you know the man's personal space and obviously social distancing to be able to try to arrest him he then put his hands on the man whenever he wasn't even wearing gloves he put his hands on the man and touched him he basically he took his shirt off as well because he was he was grappling him like I saw I thought I saw but he is as the man's oh, shirt yeah, ended yeah. up coming off and as he was talking to he went down to talk and this walk to talk he to tell his you know partner or something or other but he took his mask off then and proceeded to have his mask off during the whole rest of the video. Do you know what I mean? So then he's arresting that man for not wearing a mask while he's taking his own mask off and he's actually doing much worse. You know what I mean? So my whole opinion or whatever was I feel that, you know, you know way like I feel like people have just been divided into two separate things of mask wearers and not mask wearers and then then so far to go as in the responsible people who wear masks and dickheads who don't give a shit you know what I mean and I feel like it's just been divided into that so I just wanted so my whole thing was just to say like 
don't treat people like shit. <laughs> you know, because, like, you know, if you're wearing a mask, cool, but, you know, if other people aren't wearing a mask, you don't know if they have an under... Like, they should be wearing a mask, but you don't know if they have an underlying health condition or not. To yeah, not but if be they able don't... To fucking wear a mask. But if they don't... I'm gonna look at them like dickheads. Well, yeah. But, you know, look at them like... They don't <coughs> treat them like dickheads. You know, don't... Well, I won't treat anyone tarnal. like a dickhead, because I'm kind of yeah. just like, if you don't want to wear a mask, don't wear a mask, but you're ruining it for the rest of us. Exactly. They are. If, if, if somebody tries to... Mm-hmm. Complain. This is what I get involved. If somebody tries to complain and bitch about the coronavirus and refuses mm. to wear a mask and there's nothing wrong with them, then I'll get at them because I'm like, stop bitching about oh, something yeah, that's you're wrong. causing. That's yeah. that's when I'm like, no, you're helping it spread. Stop bitching about it. like stop bitching exactly. about what things you do wrong and then ba- blaming the government. Yeah, no, I'm not as for that part, you know. But I, I, <coughs> I thought that the guy in the video had an underlying health condition because the, da- the dude in, that was taking the video said he had one. But that could have just been him taking the video <coughs> saying, See, get off him. This, this is my opinion on it. I'm going to play both sides because there's two sides to every story. There's not just one. So I'm going to play both sides. So I'm first off going to take the guys, not the policeman's, but the guys because the policeman's is going to be the more controversial opinion. And I don't care, mm. so I'm going to say it. So I'm going to take the guys. I'm going to say if the guy did have a health condition, <clears throat> well then, yeah, he doesn't have to wear a mask. Yeah. But, if you have a health condition and you aren't supposed to wear a mask, you're supposed to carry something on you to explain that. Yeah, the wee, the wee so if uh, it, necklace. No, but not even that. Like, you should have, like, a card or something. Something along those lines. But um, if he had it, well then the policeman... The policeman was in the wrong anyway. The, the way, right, I'll say it. The policeman wasn't in the wrong. The way he handled it was wrong. He okay. shouldn't have put his hands on him over nothing. There was at one point, he tried to grab the man's t-shirt, but he grabbed him by the throat. And if anybody grabbed me by the fucking throat, they're lucky if I don't punch them or an end. You don't grab someone by the throat. Because you're, you're, if you grab someone by the throat, you cannot expect them. No matter who you are, no matter if you're wearing a badge, you cannot expect them to not want to hit you in the face. You don't grab someone by the throat. That's like the biggest threat. You don't grab them yeah. by the throat. <clears throat> but, um... So... Policeman handled it completely wrong because, like you said, took his mask off. Um, he was complaining about the mask, but he took it off. And when he was grabbing him, he was speaking to him very closely without the mask off because he's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and he grabbed him without gloves and all. Yeah. <clears throat> so, the guy, if the guy had a health condition, well, then he shouldn't have to wear a mask. Is but this is where I'm going to play the policeman side at the same time Report. because. Like I said, this is going to be the more controversial opinion, but I'm going to state it anyway. <laughs> but, um, so I'm going to play the policeman's side. So, this policeman goes up to this guy. Now, like I said, a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but I'm going to say it how it is. And if you watch the video, you can't tell me I'm wrong. This policeman, I'm going to make a situation. This policeman goes up to a random person on a train, doesn't know him, doesn't know anything about his life because no one knows anything about anybody unless you're sure. So you don't know. He walks up to this man. Maybe he asked him. Because we didn't see this whole altercation started when the camera was turned on. You don't know what happened before that. Yeah. That guy that was saying about the health condition. He was being very cheeky to the police officer when he didn't need to be. So this is where I'm going to stay. So the police officer walks up to this random guy not wearing a mask. He asks him why you're not wearing a mask. This man states I have a health condition. Right? And a lot of people... Or probably like, oh, he's a health condition, leave him alone. Now, if the police were to listen to every single person that says, I have a health condition, I don't have to wear a mask, they wouldn't be asking anybody. Then, because, you know, the people that don't have health conditions, they would just tell you they they have a health condition, and then the police wouldn't be able to search them because everybody would get mad. So then the police would leave it and listen to what people say. Then the virus would spread more because people aren't wearing masks. And then guess who gets the backlash? The police. Because they're not stopping people from walking about without the mask. So the police Mm -hmm. can't fucking win either way. Whether you like police or not, they can't win either way. Because if they... You should... Like, you should either have to wear one of those things or you should have a card. If you don't want to publicly state that you have an addition, fair enough. But you should have a card that you should say it, show it to them. To show, you should have to show proof. Because like I said, if the police ask me, because I wore my mask, but if the police ask me, why not wear a mask? If I go, well, I have a health condition. What if they believe that? 
I don't have a health condition, do I? No. No. So I have no reason to not wear a mask. So I can literally just go about. If I cough on people, guess what? Sure, I have a health condition. You know, the one that I don't have. But now the police can't find me and I'm getting off scot-free with stuff and I'm clearly doing wrong because I lied about a health condition because it's that easy because I didn't need to provide proof. So that guy didn't provide proof. So how is the police suppo- the policeman supposed to know he means it? Because, yeah, you could be like, oh, you just have to take his word for it. If you think taking humanity's word for it is the right way, you're wrong. And you're yeah. wrong. Taking people's words for it. You've seen the amount of shit that's happening in this world. People are not true to their word. But the higher percentage of people are, are not true to their words. So you can't just believe them. So what the guy with the he- possibly health condition should have done is he should have calmly said to the police officer, I have a health condition. And if the police officer goes, do you have proof? What the guy should have said. He should have got off at the next stop or something with the police officer and explained to him calmly. He lost the temper with the police officer, which then pissed off the police officer. And then the police mm. officer took too far. But he was yelling at the officer that was just trying to do his job. Yeah. Fair point. So either way, the police can't win. Because I know everybody, I've seen the comments, everybody's shitting on the policeman. But at the same mm. time, if the policeman didn't go up to him and ask him to wear a mask, people would say that the police aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is protecting us. So they can't win, because then if they don't do it, they're not doing their jobs practice. If they do do it, they're harassing people. Not every fucking police officer harasses citizens. People think, oh, this pl- this policeman's racist, this policeman's homophobic, oh, this policeman harassed that guy, so they're all like that. But yet, when one person of a certain race does something, do you blame the whole race? No, because it's racist, like you said, so why are you doing it to all police officers? If yeah. if if one white person was to be racist and you were to say, oh, all white people are... No, if one white person was to be racist and you were to make the statement, but not all white people are racist, and then one police officer, like the one George Floyd and all, were to make that decision, you'd go, oh, the same person goes, oh, all police are racist. Well, now you're automatically wrong because you're not judging a whole race, but you're judging them. It, they don't have yeah. to be a race. They don't have to be a sex. The point is they're a majority, like they're, they're a group, and you're judging all of them because of one. And that's why I find it stupid because I know a lot of people aren't going to like that opinion and I don't care because it's the truth. Yeah. Simple as, opinion. if the police do their jobs, they're in the wrong. If they don't do their jobs, they're in the fucking wrong. So they can't win because there's yeah. genuine police out there and they're getting shit on constantly because all police harass people, apparently. Fucking ridiculous. I think it's stupid as shit because like I said, that guy could have calmly handled that. The policeman took it too far. So had that one particular policeman, he took it too far. But from the gecko, he was just trying to do his job. Yeah, fair point. And I'm sure if I was a policeman and there was constantly people talking shit to me and talking shit about me, blaming me for things other people would have done, I'm sure that it would get to me and it would piss me off in the long run. I'm sure that it would piss me off. Like, why am I getting blamed for other people's stupid shit? It would get to every, it doesn't matter who you are, whether you care what people think. If if you're getting hated on for something that you that somebody else did and now you're getting the blame, it's gonna piss you off because you didn't do it. Yeah. No, I get you. That's a fair point. But I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I don't care. I don't actually think it's unpopular. I think it's like a good opinion because it explains both I, sides. I read a good no the po- the policeman side of it. Yeah. The policeman side of it. After the comments I read, that would be a very unpopular opinion on that Facebook group that it was posted in. Very unpopular. Mm. But I, a lot of people, because they just want to... A lot of people want to oh, on, play the victim and oh. shit on the police. So it is an unpopular opinion. But like I said, I don't care. Because it's my fucking podcast. I'll say what I want. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it if I want to. Like, I'm, it's not even me trying to shit on the guy that said he had a health condition. If he did, well then he shouldn't have to wear a mask. But if you have a health yeah, condition, you should ha- you should have to prove some way that you have it because you can't expect police to just believe you. Because like I said, if police were to take your word for it, they have to take everybody's word for it. And then people are just going to lie to them because obviously people that don't want to wear the mask, you really think they're actually not going to lie to the police. Like, come on. They're going to lie to the police because they don't want to mask. So if the policeman takes your um word about it, he has to take everybody's because then if he doesn't take someone else's, it's discrimination because he took yours. Yeah. So now, now that he's done that, he has to take everybody's word. But now that he's taking everybody's word, he's not doing his job and you're hating on him anyway. Yeah. Oh, no, that is a fair point, 
This is why the, you know, this is why the world will never be a fucking peaceful place because there is people that want right, there is people that want wrong, and there is people that no matter what you do, you'll never make them fucking happy. There's people that just want to hate on somebody for the sake of hating on somebody, even if they're in the right, they'll pick out one thing they're in the wrong. Can't win because, like I said, there's people. If the police don't do their job, they'll hit on. If they do a job, they'll hit on those type of people. Other people will just piss me off because I'm like, you just hit on people and bitch and complain for the sake of bitching and complaining. Yeah. Like fuck me. No, that is a fair point. Like. Right? So there you go. Learn something new every day. <laughs> that was my opinion on the matter. I only watched the video once. I only needed to analyze it. <laughs> But I'm saying what the policeman did was very wrong, the way he handled it. He shouldn't have put his hands on him, especially without gloves, and then took his mask off. That's The police officer wasn't in the wrong until he physically grabbed the guy. Then he was in the wrong. Because the police, if you're refusing to cooperate with the police, they have every right to put their hands on you. If If they tell you why you're being detained, they have every right to escort you off the train if you're causing a ruckus which the guy technically was he was young so he has every right to escort you off plane but there's a difference the police officer didn't attempt to escort him he attempted to drag him off the plane and that's the difference because he yeah. grabbed him you don't physically grab like I said I'm telling you right now say a police officer if that was a normal guy without a badge and it was them too I can guarantee you say that police officer right, take his badge away say, say it's a normal commotion and he grabs this guy I 100% guarantee you that video ends with the guy that says he's in health condition knocking the fucking guy grabbing him out 100% yeah. guarantee you he hooks him to the fucking jaw because if somebody grabbed me especially by the throat I'm going to retaliate and I'm probably going to hit them. Not because I'm a yeah. violent person, but for the fact that you grab me by the throat is the biggest threat you can do. You don't grab it's, me by the throat. Like, you don't grab anybody by the throat and it's back them not to hit you or at least take you to the ground and defend themselves. You don't grab somebody by the fucking throat. Mm. But yeah. so, I I don't think the police officer was in the wrong for trying to do his job, but I think he handled the situation very poorly because he's clearly a fucking idiot. Yeah. The police officer is a person was doing his job that is he had the right intentions executed it wrong best way to say it he had the right intentions executed it wrong fair point but police some police need to fucking learn how to actually execute a detain or arrest or whatever or a commotion because they don't know how to die down the commotion and that's what caused the problem you should be trained mm-hmm. in that you should be trained if somebody's loud and doing all this you die down by this Police just literally think, do you know what, if he yells at me once, I'm fucking tackling him. You don't do that. Because mm-hmm. then you're just going to call, you know you're going to cause commotion and you do it anyway. And then you complain when the police department gets the backlash. And now people are being blamed for your actions. That's why I don't like, I hate the way people get blamed for other people's actions. It's like, if somebody in a friend group goes and puts someone with, throws a stone through someone's windows, the whole friend group gets blamed. Oh yeah. Go like, it's them. stupid. Well, that's a fair point, dude. I just find that ironic how I watched that video and the second I watched it, I closed my phone. I got, I literally, as soon as I turned my screen off, you messaged me and you sent me the picture and I literally said, like, I just watched that on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking watched that. Yeah, oh. I was like, shit. No, because see, my whole point of it was just, you know, I don't know, I guess, ah, that angers me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that angers me, bro. Because my I took the more, I would say, liberal side of it, and I don't like liberals. No, I don't, I don't like the liberal view. No, but uh, I guess I took the more liberal side of it, and was like, oh, the coronavirus is changing society and all this, but like, no, because you actually need to fucking, you know, abide by laws so obviously it's changed yeah. in society because it is people that aren't it, by, it by needs laws to. people that aren't yeah that's fair I'm gonna delete that it's like because like, that's not my opinion anymore as simple as those people that are refu- those people that have health conditions they don't have to wear a mask because if they didn't pray to God they didn't pray to God when they got born and goes give me the self condition they didn't ask for it yeah. but the people that don't have health conditions that are refusing to wear the mask are complaining that they're being separated. You're separating yourself by not becoming one with society. Because if you're refusing, 
The majority of people abide by the law. The law is there for you to abide by to make sure you don't do dumb shit. And if you're mm-hmm. refusing to abide by the law, you're separating yourself. Nobody's separating you. You're separating yourself. Like, don't, don't, don't come and go, oh, you're separating me. You're kicking me out of society. You're saying I'm the wrong part of society. No, you're making yourself the wrong part of society. We're just witnessing it. Yeah. It's like That's people true. that commit crimes. Like, you're viewed as a criminal because you committed crimes. Like, we don't just view you as a criminal. You committed crimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. But. I don't waste no time, It's fucking ridiculous. Fuck this. <laughs> no. That's why I wanted to talk see, about this. Because, see, like, I was this, like, well, this my is... opinion, I need to learn more. So, and I need to talk about everything. So, go ahead. <laughs> see, this is why I feud at both sides. Because if I feud at one side... Well then, I'm I'm just being stupid myself. I'm being very biased towards my own opinion. Where if I feel yeah. if I if I look at two sides, I can make my final judgment. Or if I took like I I'm not making a judgment of who's in the right, who's in the wrong. I'm saying the guy that said he had the health condition, he's in the wrong by getting loud and creating a ruckus originally, and not calmly handling it. And the police officer is also in the wrong for the same thing, and a bit more. So I acknowledge some of them are, they're in the right for some things. Police officer was just doing his job. But he handled it wrong. The guy that had the health condition, if he had a health condition, he just wanted to state it. But he got angry when he shouldn't have. I understand yeah. you you would get angry if someone wasn't listening to you. But you also got to understand that you can't just get angry at everyone that doesn't listen to you. You have to handle it calmly. If you handle it calmly and maturely, the situation doesn't get out of hand. And then if it does, you're not to blame. You're, there's video footage of you're not to blame. But that's why I feud it from both sides. I'm like, here's the wrongs. Of this side, and here's the rights, and here's the wrongs of this side, and here's the rights. I'm not taking anybody's side without hearing both sides. <laughs> if I don't hear two sides of a story, I'm not taking one side. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that is fair. I didn't, yeah. I didn't even think of the fucking police officer's side, to be honest with you. I just thought it was some dickhead police officer. Maybe it was. Maybe. But, I mean, he was doing his job, but maybe he knew what he was doing and he was just trying to be a dick, who knows. But at the same time, like, I acknowledge that he'd done that wrong. I said that his, what he was trying to do was right, the the law. Maybe he was do. maybe he knew it was the law and he was twisting it so he could do something he's not supposed to be doing because he's going, oh, but it's the law. Maybe he was twisting it, but at the end of the day, he's still doing by the law. Maybe he just, but he did do it wrong. Yeah, so, I guess he, he went People just need to learn how to handle situations maturely. Yeah. Like, it's funny how I'm sitting here <laughs> saying this. <laughs> I'm sitting here telling you that you need to be mature. You really need to wise the fuck up, then, don't you? <laughs> if yeah. I'm telling you you need to be mature, you need to wise the fuck up. <laughs> exactly. See, oh, people, right. this is why you need to have a conversation with this man. Because he fucking just makes your head go, okay, yeah, new perspective, great. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my god, I opened my eyes. It's great. Oh. <laughs> you ready to move on to the questions and answers? Yeah, I just want to say that was a fair point because I didn't even think of that. Now my opinion mm. has changed. When, when something oh. pisses me off, I think about it deeply and that video pissed me off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that's fair. I need to delete that status now because that's not my opinion. <laughs> I want to see an apology. No. <laughs> right. Move I will apologise to, the, to the police officer. It's okay. <laughs> so, we have... One question for just me, one question for just you, and then a question for both of us, because oh, it was awkward to find... What? Someone actually asked about me. <laughs> yeah, they always do. They always ask about both of us. So the first one I'll do is, what do you think... Who do you think is winning the NBA Finals? I just decided to bring this one in, because I think I mentioned it in my game. I played NBA the other day, so I assume that's why they're asking, and because we mentioned it in this podcast, answer, mm. I want the Lakers to win. And I think the Lakers will win. <laughs> if the Lakers don't win, uh, the Clippers will. If the Clippers don't win, well then, the the world will end before then because I can't see it going any other way. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying Lakers, Clippers. That's what I'm saying. I want the Lakers to win them. And then your one is, this This is exactly why I chose this. This must have been from our Supernatural, was that last week, the Supernatural podcast? Or was it two yeah. weeks ago? Last week, so th- this must have been. Someone must comment that after this, um, they literally goes, "What is your favorite thing about the Supernatural series?" It literally says in brackets, oh. "For <laughs> ah, Love you, whoever you are. If you're a guy, sort of. <laughs> I don't know. Oh fuck! 
Right, there's a lot that I love about the Supernatural series. There's a lot. Okay. Yeah, but Personally, it's like, I think they mean, what's your favourite? Like, is it the creatures that attract you? Is it the storyline? Oh. Because he, he didn't say the Supernatural world. He said the Supernatural series. So is it the characters? Yeah, I mean. Is it the creatures? Like, you know what I mean? See, to be honest, I would say that it's everything. It's not everything. It's It's kind of like how they bring it to life because see whenever I was younger right I was always scared because I've been scared my whole life for some reason no I'm not not as don't care uh, but it's like my whole life I was scared so I was scared of everything like not everything but like say any ghost thing say have you ever seen 2009 as a whole I watched that and then couldn't sleep for three weeks um, so then I, then I was watching and the first first actual scary movie I watched was uh, Child's Play and that was in 2014 um, that was my first horror movie experience properly and I wasn't scared by it and it was great and then but I watched funny. Su- yeah and then but I watched Supernatural I watched the first episode years ago and I was sitting there and I got scared by it in the first episode because uh, she went up on the roof and then the roof got fire and all that um, and that scared the shit out of me but then I've just been watching it and it's more the characters and the story but also the creatures fit into that because the creatures are fucking cool see the way they bring the creatures to life it's cool as fuck and then you get to know more about the lore and you get to know more about everything how to kill shit and it's just it's entertaining but what I like mainly about it is the fact that this is going to sound gay not gay but gay (laughs) it's going to sound kind of like I watch it whenever I come home from work all the time and I watch it on the weekends or whatever and it's just a way for me to fucking get out of here while still staying here if you get me like get out of my room while still being in my room because it just takes me yeah to Supernatural you know <clears throat> and then I get to see the whole story and Fair the characters enough. as well my favourite character in it is Cass as everyone's is and then Dean and Sam you know uh, Castell's fucking amazing he's an angel if you don't know no, but uh, my favourite part about it is just the fact that the fact that for me it takes me away from this, you know, this world and shit. But then my favourite part about the whole show, I would say, is how they bring the creatures to life, you know. And uh, the comedy as well inside of it is fucking unbelievably hilarious. Like, So that's what I like about it. You know, there's a lot gotcha. of shit that I like about it. There's not it does seem very good. Like about it. Yeah. It does seem very good. It's just the reason I haven't watched it is well, a I don't have access to it, and b it's just so long because there's so many seasons. seasons. I want to yeah. watch it. I just don't want to spend fifteen seasons watching it. You mm. know what I mean? I want I the entertainment I... and experience of it. I just don't want to give the time to do it. If you get me, I like that's that. that's literally the situation. Yeah, because say I've been but, watching it for about a month, haven't I? Nine, I think. I think so. I'm on season nine. Uh, out of 15 and I've been watching it for over a month you know so it is like <clears throat> at the start it was constantly one episode after the other I wouldn't even play my PlayStation I would just watch it all day you know but now I'm sort of just like right we'll go to work and then we'll watch one whenever we get home and then we'll fall asleep and then you know at the weekend we'll play the PlayStation we'll do the podcast we'll do whatever we need to do and then we'll just watch an one you know so I'm only yeah. really watching one or two a night now you know so that's why I've, I've gotten to it some seasons I would say season, uh, what was it, the start of season 6 and 7 or something, that went fucking slow for me, so at the season 8 was alright, but it was just, see season 6 and 7, there's some storylines in it that you, you're just like, right, can we just move on, you know, <laughs> but that's like, I don't know, oh. I, just, I think it's, it's, it is really good, but I would say just the thing that you would like about it most is the comedy aspects in it, Castiel as well, because there's this, I just want to say one thing, there's this part about, uh, is your thing going to cut off, is it? I think it's going to cut off in a couple of minutes, but we'll be grown. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of porn jokes in it, and it's fucking hilarious. Um, but Castiel, because he's obviously, he's an angel, but he's come down to earth, and he's watching porn for the first time, and it's this pizza guy one, right? And there's this uh, demon, and her name's Meg, and uh, of course, because angels and demons don't interact, but she fucking uh, kisses, uh, she grabs Castiel and she just snogs him, she does. And then he t- spins her around, pulls her head back and just snogs her like fuck. Just like, and plants his face into her face. And then she goes, whoa, where did that come from? And he goes, 
I learned that from the pizza man. And you're just like, yes, cut the air. It's brilliant. You just say, learned it from porn. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> you learned it from porn, bro. <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. Uh, but, wow. Uh, 